السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم فائن اینڈ آئی ہوپ دیٹ آل الیونتھ کلاس اسٹوڈنٹس اسپیشلی دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف نیسا پامپور اینڈ ایمز اونتی پورا ول بی آلسو فائن ایٹ دیئر ریسپیکٹو ہومز دیئر اسٹوڈنٹس از دا فسٹ آن لائن لیکچر فرام مائی سائڈ اینڈ ان دس ویری فسٹ آن لائن لیکچر I will first introduce the topic we have to discuss is the first online lecture. Dear students, during the class room lectures, we have started the chapter number 5th from your syllabus. The title of this uh, unit that is States of Matter. I have already mentioned that in this very state, we have to discuss two states that is gaseous and we have the liquid states and as usual we have stated we have started the first one that is gaseous state and as far as the syllabus is considered the first topic in the syllabus that is intermolecular forces we have discussed it already in the classroom lectures here we will discuss the second but the most important topic as far as this unit is concerned as far as the states of matter is considered the most important topic the topic on which the questions come in the exam that is the gas laws this is the second important topic we have to discuss in this very first online lecture that is the gas laws remember this point this is the second important topic that is the gas laws dear students i will try to make use of bilingual language i can deliver the lecture <coughs> mostly in english i can make use of also urdu even i can make use of kashmiri so that you can understand the things in a better way from this point as far as the gas laws are considered we have to mention it the gas laws we have to discuss four laws the first one boyle's law the second we have the charles law the third we have to discuss amontoon's law amontoon's law and we have to discuss avogadro's law dear students these are the four laws we have to discuss in this very unit and these four are collectively known as gas laws among the four these two the first one that is boyle's law and the charles law they are more important often the questions come on these two laws boyle's law and charles law first we discuss first we try to define what is meant by the gas laws in gas laws ka matlab kya hota hai ye gas laws kya hote hain dear students you know that a gas has some gas has some measurable properties <clears throat> there are some properties of the gases measurable properties which we can measure which we can measure गैस के कुछ प्रॉपर्टीज होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल गैस हैज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वैल्यूम वी कैन मेजर इट वी कैन मेजर द वैल्यूम ऑफ द गैस इट मीन्स दैट वैल्यूम इज द मेजरेबल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द गैस इसी तरह वी हैव द सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज द प्रेशर ऑफ द गैस वी कैन मेजर इट इट इज द सेकेंड मेजरेबल प्रॉपर्टी in the same way we have the third one that is temperature temperature of the gas in the same way we have the mass or you can say moles you can say amount it is another measurable property of the gas and we have the next that is density dear students these are some measurable properties of the gases we can measure these properties <coughs> now these laws they try to relate these measurable properties these laws they try to give the relationship between these measurable properties 
For example, dear student, I will take a simple example to understand what is meant by relationship. What is meant by relationship? For example, if you have a volume of a gas, it is a measurable property. If we increase pressure on the gas, if we increase pressure on the gas, pressure is also a measurable property. What happens when you increase the pressure, this volume, it will be reduced. Beta, ye volume, ye kam ho jayega. it will be decreased. It means that by increasing pressure, volume gets decreased. Volume gets decreased. It means that these two measurable properties, pressure and volume, they are related with each other. There is a definite relation between pressure and the volume. Remember this point. These uh, measurable properties, they are related with each other. In the same way, if you have, for example, volume of a gas, if we increase temperature, अगर हम टेम्परेचर ज्यादा करेंगे बाय यूजिंग मेक बाय मेक यूज ऑफ अ बर्नर और एनी हीटिंग सोर्स बाय प्रोवाइडिंग एनर्जी व्हाट विल हैपन गैस मॉलिक्यूल्स दे विल गो अवे दे विल मूव अवे व्हाट हैपेंस बाय दैट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द गैस विल इंक्रीज नाउ द वॉल्यूम विल इंक्रीज बाय इंक्रीजिंग प्रेशर वॉल्यूम डिक्रीजेस बट बाय इंक्रीजिंग टेंपरेचर वॉल्यूम इंक्रीजेस Remember this point. It means that these measurable properties they are related with each other, and those laws which relate these measurable properties with each other, volume can be related with the pressure, volume can be related with the temperature, volume can be related with the pressure can be related with the density. These measurable properties, in order to relate these, we have certain laws. and those laws are known as gas laws now you have to mention how you can define the gas laws in simple words you have to simply remember beta these are the laws these are the laws these are the laws which relate which relates measurable properties which relates measurable properties you have to mention this is the first point you have to mention gas law these are the laws which relates which relates which relates the measurable properties of a gas of a gas this is the first point you have to remember these are the laws we try to relate the measurable properties of the gas and what are the various measurable property we have the volume we have the pressure we have the temperature we have the mass and you have the density these are the measurable properties and you have to remember second point they are experimentally based the they are experimentally based these gaseous laws they are experimentally based experimentally based when you discuss the boyle's law when you discuss the charles law you have to first consider the experiment they are experimentally based moreover you have to remember the third point all gases obeys gas laws all gases obeys gas laws it is the brief introduction what is meant by gas laws you have to simply remember if you don't mention it in the notebook you have to simply remember these are the laws which try to relate the measurable properties now the first gas law the first relation between the measurable properties was put forwarded by robert boyle and he put forward the first law that law is boyle's law the first very law this is the boyle's law now we will see which two measurable properties it relates ye kon do measurable properties ko aapas mein relate karta hai we will have you have to remember it is the volume pressure relationship now it is clear from the heading relationship it is clear from the heading that 
it relates to volume and pressure of a gas it re relates to the volume and pressure of a gas this law it was proposed by put forwarded by robert boy robert boy in 1662 you have to mention the date now you can remember the date here this law was and it is the first quantitative relation you can also mention it is the first first quantitative first quantitative relationship first quantitative relationship first quantitative relationship remember this point studied first quantitative relationship studied it means that in 1662 robert boyle studied this relation pressure and volume relation volume and pressure relation how these two measurable properties are related it is idea was given by robert boyle in 1662 now we will try to see what the robert boyle what he did and what he concluded he took a volume of a gas simple actually in the experiment he took a j shape tube if you have the text you can find that you have a j shape tube if you have a gaseous volume what happens it is a let us say i have already mentioned if it is the volume let us say it is volume v if you increase the pressure on the gas what happens if you increase the pressure on the gas what happens volume will decrease beta volume will decrease by increasing pressure volume decreases if you double the pressure volume becomes half it means that this volume and pressure they are inversely proportional they are not directly proportional directly means if you increase the pressure volume should increase but here what happens if you increase the pressure gas molecules will come close to each other volume gets decreases from this from this experiment what the boyle concluded that volume and pressure they are inversely proportional if you increase the pressure volume will decrease if you double the pressure volume will become half from this what he concluded that volume is inversely proportional to pressure this is the point which he concluded volume is inversely proportional to pressure but you have to remember you have to keep you have to keep the temperature constant if you want to study the effect of pressure on the volume you have to keep the temperature constant if you have you, if you want to study the effect of temperature on the volume you have to come you have to keep another state variable constant these are two state variables i have already mentioned the when you change their values the state changes remember this point if you want to study the effect of pressure you have to keep the temperature constant if you want to study the effect of temperature you have to keep the pressure constant and here we are studying the effect of pressure on the volume you have to keep the temperature constant remember this point oh, what he concluded boyle ne kya concluded kiya usne ye bola ki ye jo volume of a gas it is inversely proportional to the pressure of the gas then he put forward the law that law is after his name is known as boyle's law you have to say you have to remember it gives us volume pressure relationship robert boyle he this law was put forwarded by robert boyle in 1662 remember this point and it is the first quantitative relationship between the measurable properties of the gas now what you have to remember you have to remember it is statements how we can state the boyle's law now you have to remember you don't have to remember these things but now what you have to remember you have to remember statements of the boyle's law statements of boyle's law remember this point now we will say the statement number first you have to mention these things now statement number first dear students now it is clear this law gives the effect of pressure on the value you have to keep the temperature constant then what will be the statement this law states that we can represent it as this law states that this law states that 
that keeping the temperature constant this is the state variable which you have to keep constant you have to keep the temperature value constant keeping the temperature constant keeping the temperature constant keeping the temperature constant around this point volume of a given mass of a gas the volume of a given mass given mass you have to mention here it is also constant you take a fixed amount of mass fixed amount uska kuch volume hoga fir magar yaad rakhna ye jo mass hai that is given it is fixed volume of a given mass of a gas of a gas is inversely proportional is inversely proportional is inversely proportional to the temperature pressure beta you have to remember this very point this is the first point in the boyle's law you have to mention this is the first statement you can remember other things this was proposed by robert boyle in ckt in ckt2 it is the first point you have to remember also but but here you have the first, this is the first point we have to mention in your notebook statements of boyle's law this is the statement number first this law states is that you have to keep the temperature constant the volume and pressure they are inversely related if you double the pressure volume will become half if you half the pressure volume will become double they are inversely proportional to point the volume of a given mass of a gas two parameters are here constant one is temperature and the second that is mass you can say number of moles mass means number of moles given mass here you can also say number of moles number of moles of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure now you how you can express it mathematically you have to remember it is mathematical formula also dear students you have mentioned now mathematically we can write what we can write mathematically we can write we can write value is inversely proportional to pressure at constant temperature at constant temperature and you have to also mention that the another uh, factor another property quantity that is that is to remain constant that is the mass but here i will say at constant temperature now if you remove this proportionality this by equality we will say now equal you have to introduce a constant you know this thing very much v is equal to some constant k we are removing the proportionality by equality you have to introduce the constant k into you have one beta p you can also write p will come here it p v is equal to it is the constant k i remember this point this k constant it is known as constant k is known as boyle's constant this constant k is known as boyle's constant you can take it is the first this is the first mathematical form expressing the boyle's law you have to remember the first form that's product of pressure and volume product of pressure and volume that will be always equal to constant it is value remains constant when you multiply these two when you multiply the value of pressure and volume the value will always equal to a constant and this constant is known as boyle's constant it is value depends upon two things you can say the value of k the value of k depends upon depends upon jo maine already bola hai ki uh, in boyle's law humko do cheeze constant rakhni hoti hai and the constant k depends upon do, those two things then what will be the first the value of k depends upon value of temperature value of temperature you can mention this line here the value of k 
depends upon depends upon first temperature this is the first one the second mass you can say amount or number of moles number of moles or you can say mass and the third factor on which the value of k depends the units of pressure and volume in which units we express the pressure and volume the third on which the value of k depends that is units of pressure and volume beta you have to simply remember volume is inversely proportional to pressure then we have derived this pressure into volume product of pressure and volume it is value is always constant but you have to keep the temperature and mass number of moles constant this constant k is known as boyle's constant it is value depends upon three things temperature number of moles and units of pressure and volume from this pv is equal to k from equation first we can state that we can give the second statement of the boyle's law you have to now write statement number second you have to mention statement number second statement number second you have to mention from first this is the first from equation first Boyle's law can be stated as Boyle's law can be stated as stated as you have to also mention keeping the temperature constant the product of pressure and volume that will always will be always equal to a constant you have to mention keeping the temperature constant keeping the temperature constant keeping the temperature keeping the temperature constant the product of the product of from first it is clear product of pressure and volume pressure and volume will will always remain equal to a constant will always will will be always constant you have to mention here will be always will be always always equal to a constant equal to constant the product of pressure and volume will be always equal to a constant it means that their product will not change that will be always constant this is the statement number second and we have stated this statement from this simple equation first second is first is simple product of pressure and volume that will always equal to a constant now we will try to answer what is meant by constant how it remain constant dear students i will tell you a simple mathematical formula by which you can understand this you can understand this dear students you know that p into v that remains constant you know now it but here one factor if it increases the second it will decrease agar a ka value zyada hoga जो दूसरा होगा इसका वैल्यू कम होता है बाय इंक्रीजिंग प्रेशर वॉल्यूम डिक्रीजेस जितना प्रेशर ज्यादा करेंगे उतना वॉल्यूम कम होगा इट मींस दैट वन फैक्टर इंक्रीजेस सेकंड डिक्रीजेस व्हेन वन वेरिएबल इंक्रीजेस सेकंड डिक्रीजेस जो उनका प्रोडक्ट होता है दैट ऑलवेज रिमेंस कांस्टेंट फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव 5 वी हैव 2 इनटू 5 इट इज इक्वल टू 10 if you change it if you increase this one let us say we will increase to 5 it will be decreased to that extent it will be 2 it will always remain equal that will be 10 it means that the product has is always equal to a constant value same is the case yahan par pressure agar hum zyada karenge वॉल्यूम कम हो उतना कम होगा जो इनका प्रोडक्ट होगा दैट विल बी ऑलवेज इक्वल टू है कांस्टेंट गो यू हैव टू मेंशन दैट ये जो प्रोडक्ट ऑफ प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम है दैट विल ऑलवेज रिमेन इक्वल टू कांस्टेंट 
because one factor increases and the second factor decreases their product will be always equal to cone just like this one you have to remember this point now you have to mention another point if you have a gaseous sample let us say its value is v1 its value is v1 we can say initial value if some pressure is on this let us say p1 we can say it is pressure is p1 remember this point if p1 and v1 are initial pressure and volume of a gas if you change pressure to p2 agar hum ab pressure zyada karenge ya kam karenge we are changing the pressure when you change the pressure boil is lost state the value will change what happens the volume if you increase the pressure volume will also change that as it is v2 it means that p1 and v1 they are initial pressure and volume pressure pressure initial pressure and volume of a gas and if you change the pressure to p2 the volume will change to v2 then from this p into v that remains constant when you apply this you can say their product p1 v1 that will be always equal to p2 v2 if you change further pressure to p3 that will be equal to p3 v3 if you change further pressure it becomes p4 v4 it means that their product will always remain constant that will not change but here we take just these two p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 this is another mathematical important expression which expresses the boyle's law remember this point you have to mention now if p1 if p1 and v1 you have to uh mention these things in the notebook hence i try to uh, i am trying to write some lines so that you can also mention these lines in the notebook if p1 and v1 are initial initial pressure and volume of a gas of a gas if p1 and v1 are the initial pressure and volume of a gas and if pressure pressure changes to p2 if pressure changes changes to p2 the volume then the volume will change to then the volume will change to will change to v2 then then from first we can write then from equation first we can write what is the equation uh, first product of pressure and volume that will always remain constant we can write what you can write you have to mention this one now p1 v1 is equal to initial that will be equal to v2 this is the equation number second expressing the boyle's law this is the equation number second p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 you have to remember this point i can i will mention it again p1 it means initial initial tension it will be equal to p2 and v2 this is the equation number second it also expresses the boyle's law and it is the most important mathematical form expression equation on which the problem comes on the boyle's law because how many parameters how many variables are there there are four variables 1 2 3 and 4 if you know the values of three variables you can determine the value of fourth variable we can say it is the important uh, equation as far as the numerical part is considered whenever problem comes numerical problem comes on the boyle's law the problem will be definitely on this that is p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 if we know if we know the values of three variables know the values of three variables three variables because there are four if you know the values of three variables three variables will be given in the problem 
we can determine we can determine the value of we can determine the value of we can determine the value of fourth variable we can determine the value of fourth variable you have to mention this point this is the formula you had to remember in the Boyle's law p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 it means that you have to mention two one is p v is equal to constant this is the first and this is the second but among the two it is the most important as far as the numerical prob uh, problems are considered because the problems come on the equation number second now dear students tell me what is Boyle's law it gives the relation between pressure and value if you increase the pressure volume decreases it means that volume and pressure they are inversely related you can say volume is inversely proportional to pressure or you can also write pressure is inversely to the volume and from this what you get you get pv is equal to constant if you consider initial and final conditions you can write p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 you have to remember these things as such now we will try to uh, give the correct uh, graphical justification of the Boyle's law. This is the Boyle's law. Now we will explain it. We will support it graphically. We will explain it graphically. We have the graphical justification of graphical justification of Boyle's law. Graphical justification of Boyle's law. We will draw the following graphs. You have to also draw the following graphs. The first graph we will draw since volume is inversely proportional to pressure. This is the first, you know it. Or you can say pressure is inversely relation, related to the value. Remove this point. When you say inversely, you have to relate this one and this one. You are not relating one but a p. If you say one but a p, then it is directly. Dear student, this is a very important point. When you say volume is inversely proportional, we are ignoring one. If I will say volume is directly, that is one part of, that is reciprocal of pressure. Let us say volume and pressure, if you increase this one, it will decrease. We will have this type of graph. You have to draw this graph. You have to draw this graph. We have volume, remember this point, and we have pressure. I have taken the pressure not one but a p i have not taken the reciprocal of pressure i have taken the pressure if it increases it decreases it means that when it increases volume will decrease when the pressure is low there is no pressure volume will be high the value will be here when the pressure is low pressure will be high but when you increase the pressure volume will decrease you will get a hyperbolic graph you will get a hyperbolic graph in the first quadrant. If I will draw, this is the hyperbolic graph, but it is hyperbolic graph in the first quadrant. Remember this point, you get this type of graph. What it indicates? Pressure is low, volume is high. When you increase the pressure, volume gets decreased. But you have to mention two things here. Temperature constant. Temperature constant. And we have we have mass constant mass constant remember this point this is the first graph you have to remember volume and pressure they are inversely proportional t is temperature is constant mass is constant the curve you have to mention here the curve which is obtained by plotting volume versus pressure but at constant temperature this curve is known as isotherm you can call isotherm iso means same therm means temperature you have to keep the temperature constant hence this curve is known as isotherm you have to mention the curve the curve i will mention here the curve which is obtained the curve what sort of curve it is it is hyperbolic curve yeah you don't have to mention this the curve which is obtained which is obtained by plotting by plotting 
by plotting volume versus pressure volume versus p volume versus pressure at constant at constant temperature at constant temperature is known as is known as isotherm isotherm you have to mention this if you plot a graph between the volume versus pressure but you are keeping the temperature constant this current is known as isotherm at this point dear students you can take the alternate form of this graph you can keep the pressure here you can keep the volume here you get the same line for example if you draw the same this is the graph the first graph alternate form of the first graph if you will have while pressure here and volume here dear students when the pressure is high pressure is high volume will be small it will have less value but when you decrease pressure you are decreasing when it will move downwards when you decrease pressure what will happen to volume volume will increase in the same way when you decrease pressure volume will increase this will be the same graph it means that if you plot v versus p or p versus you get the same line you get the same curve hyperbolic curve and you have to mention here temperature it is constant and you have mass that is also constant you have to draw both these graphs they are inverse if you increase pressure volume will decrease if you in if you decrease pressure volume will increase both the graphs justify the boyle's law that is pressure and volume they are inversely related to each other dear students i will take now second form second graph which justifies the boyle's law boyle's law remember this point this is the second one we are saying that volume is inversely proportional to pressure but if i will take reciprocal of p 1 butta p then we have to say volume is directly proportional to 1 butta p beta please if you say only p then it is inverse but if you say if you take reciprocal of pressure reciprocal 1 butta p then it becomes directly we can say value is directly proportional to 1 butta p when they are directly they are directly to related to each other that is volume versus 1 butta p we have not taken here i have not taken here p i have taken the reciprocal of p at that time it means they are directly when two variables are directly proportional you get a straight line you get a straight line passing through the arch but remember this point you have to keep temperature that is constant and a mass that is also constant these two things are constant but this graph is volume versus 1 butta p we have taken the reciprocal of pressure 1 butta p at that time we can say volume is directly proportional to 1 butta p dear strike when i will say volume is inversely proportional to pressure at that time i take the pressure i am not taking the reciprocal of pressure i am taking the pressure but here i am taking the reciprocal of pressure this is the second graph this is the second graph volume is directly proportional to 1 butta p you get a straight line passing through the origin but you have to remember temperature is constant mass is constant we can take another graph we can draw another graph we can draw another graph that is you know p into v that is constant this is second third this is the first form of boyle's law you know it product of pressure and volume that remains constant means that product of pressure and volume does not depend upon the pressure does not depend upon the pressure you can justify it if you plot a graph between pv versus p it it is clear from this pv it is constant it does not depend upon the pressure when two variables does not depend upon each other at that time I have already mentioned the class in the classroom lectures when these two are independent if you change there will be no change on this you get a straight line parallel to the x axis this will be the case they are it shows that these two are not dependent p product of pv pressure and volume does not depend upon p what happens it will you will get a straight line passing through the origin but you have to keep temperature constant 
and you have to say uh, mass constant. These two things are constant. Remember this point? You can take these three graphs. But this curve is at one temperature. Remember this point? This is at one temperature. Now I will sh show the same graph but at different temperatures. Meaning a curve ke liye ek temperature, dusre curve ke liye dusra temperature. Magar when you plot one curve, you have to keep the temperature constant. I will show two more graphs to understand the effect of temperature here. Let us say you have this one. Abne already draw a put cha ye chotha wala graph you draw karna hai. If we have value versus p, aapne ye bola the curve is hyperbolic. This is the way. Let us say this curve has been plotted at temperature T1, 20 degree, 100 degree, you can say. But if the temperature, uh, if, you temp if you change the temperature, then this will not be the curve. This will not be the curve. This curve is, let us say, it is at 200 Kelvin. If, if you increase the temperature to 300 Kelvin, then this will not be the curve. You will get another curve. When you increase the temperature value, का value ज़्यादा है कि कम है। When you increase the temperature value ज़्यादा है, इसका मतलब ये जो करो high temperature पे होगा, that will be above this, that will not be below this, because when you increase the temperature value का effect ज़्यादा होगा, इसका मतलब ये line, ये कर इसके ऊपर होगी, we will have this type of curve. This is the point you have to understand. This curve is at 200. If you increase the temperature, let us say T2, we can say it is 300 Kelvin. Remember this point. Why the curve it moves upwards? Because when you increase the temperature, volume का effect volume ज़्यादा होता है. इसलिए ये जो दूसरी curve ये ऊपर से आ गई. If you increase temperature further, you will have this type of curve. You will have this type of curve. What will have? It will be T3. Let us say it is 400 Kelvin. Remember this point. This curve is at fixed temperature. Boy, is la yehi hai. You have to keep the temperature constant. But for example, one student performs this graph at 200 Kelvin. He will get he will, or she will get this type of curve. If any student performs at this temperature, you get this type of curve. But here you have to mention T3 is greater than T2 is greater than T1. T3 means high temperature, hence this curve is upper side, it is at the top. Remember this point. You can also represent the effect of temperature in this case also. This is the fourth graph you have to draw. This is at in T1, this is T2, this is T3, T3 greater than T2 and T1. You can draw another graph. You can take another graph, fifth graph. You have already mentioned it here. If you will have V versus 1 butta P. 1 butta P. They are direct because now I, I have taken the reciprocal of pressure. They will be directly proposed. You get a this type of curve. Straight line passing through the origin. Let us say it is T1. Let us say it is T1. In sure, if you increase the temperature now, whether you get the same curve or you get the above line but that will be above this you will get this type of curve origin will be same origin will be same that is t2 if you increase the temperature you get the same but it will be this one t3 but you have to also mention t3 is greater than t2 greater than t1 as far as this line is considered you have to keep the temperature constant but if the temperature is high, you get a little bit above side curve and same is the case of T3. You have to mention also here T3 greater than T2 greater than T1. Remember this point. This was the graphical justification of the Boyle's law. How we can justify Boyle's law. Now we have the third important topic that is significance of significance of Boyle's law. Significance of Boyle's law. Why it is applied? What it signifies? What it shows us? It shows an important property of the gas. It proves an it proves an important property of gas. Important property of gas. What is that property? 
important property of gas of a gas that is shabash student that is if you increase pressure gas molecules come close each other gas gets compressed compressibility is a property of a gas when the gas molecules approach each other what happens my dear students what happens if gas gets compressed when you increase pressure volume decreases when volume decreases gas compresses compressibility is an important property of a gas it proves an important property of a gas that is compressibility of the gas compressibility compressibility of the gas that is gases are compressible in nature gases are compressible in nature gases are compressible in nature what is the statement of boyle if you increase pressure volume will decrease when volume decreases gas molecules will come close each other it means get, gets compressed and this property is known as compressibility what is the significance of this it proves an important property of a gas that is compressibility of a gas that is gases are compressible in nature dear students we will try to understand this compressibility what is meant by compressibility when you increase the pressure gas molecules will come close to each other we are saying that gas gets compressed when you increase pressure volume uh, this gas gets compressed when the gas gets compressed what will happen to volume volume will decrease volume decreases we have another important property that is density jo maine aapko already bola hai density is equal to mass by volume mass is constant but here what happens to volume volume decreases it means that density will increase beta it means when you increase pressure volume decreases what it means density increases it means that density is directly proportional to pressure you have to remember this point when the gas compresses density increases it means that density is directly proportional to pressure you have to this mention this important point when a gas when a gas compresses when a gas compresses when a gas compresses upon increasing pressure upon increasing pressure when a gas compresses upon increasing pressure it is density it is density increases it is density increases because volume decreases which means density increases i have already mentioned density is equal to mass by volume when volume increase decreases density increases that is density is directly proportional to pressure remember this point this is an important point from the boyle's law density is directly proportional to pressure you can prove this let us say it is equation third we can prove this देखिए जी हम कैसे इसको प्रूफ कर कर सकते हैं डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू नो सिंस डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू मास बटर वैल्यूम यू नो इट डेंसिटी इज इक्वल टू मास बटर वैल्यूम लेट अस से इट इज कैपिटल ए टू डिस्टिंग्विश फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री लेट अस से इट इज ए फ्रॉम बॉय इज लव वी नो नाउ यू आर द यू नो द बॉयल इज लव वेरी वेल फ्रॉम बॉयल इज लॉ वॉट यू नो what you know shabash volume is equal to 1 butter p volume is inversely related to 1 butter p this is from boyle's law let us say it is b introduce this value of v from b into a it means that we have to substitute this value of v here what it will become you can say substitute Substitute the value value of v in a. Substitute the value of v in a. What you can write? You can write, dear student, this density is equal to mass. That is constant in the Boyle's law. That is constant in the Boyle's law. Here you have also. Here you have also k. Remember this point because. 
when we have PV is equal to K, you want to introduce the value of V, V will become equal to K butter P. This is the value of, from Boyle's law, V is equal to K butter P. This is the Boyle's law. Substitute the value of V now. This is the value of V. You have to substitute here. What you can write? V ka value kya hai beta? V ka value hai K, a constant hai, divided by P. Mass be constant, Boyle's law mein, K is also constant. Then what you can write, sir, you can write density is equal to mass constant in the Boyle's law. K is also a constant. Let us say it is P butter 1. Yeah, it is K butter P. P will come in the numerator. It is K butter P. P will come into the numerator. Now we have this one. A B constant, A B constant. When you divide two constants, you get a new constant. What will be that constant? Let us say it is K dash. It's a new constant K dash and we have the P. Dear student, try to understand. This is the value of V. In the Boyle's law, mass is constant, K is constant. Hence, I am separating these two. It is K but a P. P will come in the numerator. M but a P. These are two constants. When you divide two constants, you get a new constant that is K dash. From this, what you can write? You can write, if you, if you remove the equality, if you convert the equality into proportionality, constant K will be vanished. Then what you can write? You can write density. Let us say it is second. From second, from, yeah, you can say C. To distinguish from the second, from C, we can write. We can write, we can write, density is directly proportional to pressure. You had remember this point, density is directly, you can prove it, you can derive it from the Boyle's law. Now the important question which comes in the significance, the question comes in the exam in the form of very short answer question. Question comes, why do mountaineers, why do mountaineers have to take, have to take, have to take oxygen cylinders? Oxygen cylinders, why, why they have to take oxygen cylinders along with them, along with them when they go to higher altitudes, when they go, go to higher altitudes, higher altitudes. इसका मतलब है ये जो माउंटेनियर्स है जो क्लाइंबर्स है जो हायर ऑल्टीट्यूड्स पे जाते हैं दे टेक द ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर्स अलोंग विद देम व्हाई दे टेक द ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर्स अलोंग विद देम व्हेन दे गो टू हायर ऑल्टीट्यूड्स वी कैन इट इज द सिग्निफिकेंट वी कैन एक्सप्लेन इट ऑन द बेस ऑफ ऑयलस दैट दिस द क्वेश्चन व्हाई डू माउंटेनियर्स हैव टू टेक ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर्स अलोंग विद देम व्हेन दे गो टू हायर ऑल्टीट्यूड्स जब वो Upper, upper, matlab, when they climb to higher matlab, heights, they have to take the oxygen cylinders. What is the cause? We can explain it on the basis of, it comes in the significance, we can explain it on the basis of Boyle's. La dekhi ji, aapko kya likhna hai, gar pe likhna, achi se likhna. I will explain and you can write in your own words at your homes. When you go to higher altitudes, you know pressure decreases. Ejo, gaseous pressure for the atmospheric pressure that decreases well, when you go to higher altitude pressure decreases ja beta pressure kam hoga ja pressure kam hoga volume volume of gas kya hoga volume will increase volume ye decrease ho gaya when you go to higher altitude pressure decreases and what will be the effect on pressure volume volume will increase volume of the air will increase in the air i mean to say oxygen nitrogen Volume will increase, it means that the oxygen molecules will move away from each other because volume increases. Because when you go to higher altitude, pressure decrease hota hai. Ye jo air ka pressure daba hut kam hota hai, jab kam hoga, volume increase hoga. When the volume of the air increases, the gas molecules, oxygen molecules, they move away from each other. 
it is not easy for the climber for the mountaineer to inhale properly because this is oxygen molecule this is another is there far away it is very difficult for the mountaineer to inhale properly now the climber now the mountaineer is not in a position to inhale oxygen properly hence it feels headache it feels headache it feels headache and the climber and the mountaineer is not in a position to think properly जब ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई कम हो गई है उससे क्या होगा जो माइंड का जो अटेंशन है दैट विल नॉट थिंक प्रॉपरली नाउ एंड दिस डिजीज जिसमें ये हेड एक एंड द पर्सन कैन नॉट थिंक प्रॉपरली इसको हम कहते हैं आल्टी चूर सिकनेस आल्टी चूर सिकनेस इस बीमारी को हम क्या कहते हैं शबश बेटा इसको हम कहते हैं आल्टी चूर सिकनेस what is the altitude sickness you have to mention when a climber when the mountaineer go to higher altitude pressure decreases volume of the air will increase when the i volume of air increases the oxygen molecules will move away from each other now it is not possible it is not easy to inhale oxygen properly and the mountaineer it feels headache and the mountaineer is not in a position to think properly this disease is known as altitude sickness in order to overcome this altitude sickness the climber has to take has to take oxygen cylinders along with them it is because to overcome this altitude sickness we have explained on the basis of boyle's law pressure decrease volume increase you can explain it on the basis of boyle's law well, what will be the answer you have to mention the answer at your homes but you have to simply remember in order to avoid in order to overcome in order to overcome altitude sickness maine aapko already bola hai altitude sickness why it happens you know now when the climber moves to higher altitude pressure decrease वैल्यूम ज्यादा होगा ऑक्सीजन मालिक्यूल्स दूर दूर जाते हैं नाउ वी कैन नॉट इनहेल प्रॉपरली इन ऑर्डर टू ओवरकम ऑल्टीट्यूड सिकनेस विच इज ड्यू टू द विच इज ड्यू टू द विच इज ड्यू टू द डिक्रीज विच इज ड्यू टू द डिक्रीज इन द विच इज विच इज ड्यू टू द डिक्रीज इन द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन कंसेंट्रेशन कम होती है जब वो दूर दूर जाते हैं नाउ वी कैन नॉट इनहेल प्रॉपरली इन ऑर्डर टू ओवरकम द ऑल्टीट्यूड सिकनेस विच इज ड्यू टू द डिक्रीज इन ऑक्सीजन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑक्सन ऑक्सीजन कंसेंट्रेशन व्हाट हैपेंस द माउंटेनियर्स द माउंटेनियर्स हैव टू टेक या क्लाइंबर्स हैव टू टेक हैव टू टेक oxygen cylinders along with them have to take oxygen cylinders cylinders along with them along with them you can write these lines and in your own language at your own home there is no ness it is not necessary to mention these lines you can mention the answer in your own language uh, you can now uh, answer this question along with oxygen along with them why they have to take oxygen cylinders along with them in order to overcome the altitude sickness ye kisse hoti hai jab ka oxygen jab volume zyada hoga oxygen concentration kam hogi the mountaineer cannot inhale properly uh, as a result what happens he or she has to take oxygen cylinders along with them this is about the boyle's law first topic that is the boyle's law first law that is the boyle's law inshallah you will get a module on your whatsapp papers on the whatsapp pages in the module there will be some solved problems on the boyle's law and some problems will be on solved inshallah you within two days you will get a module on the boyle's law that will comprise two kinds of problems one kind will be solved and another kind you have to solve at your respect to homes thank you my dear so this was the first online lecture i feel i will hope that you might have enjoyed this very lecture thank you students